I went to see Black Panther and Black Panther, Black, Black Panther. Adam yesterday. I was like, it's like so frustrating that uh, that they have to drop two such similarly sounding movies so close to each other. But anyway, yeah, I went to see Black Adam. And uh, for those that uh, have not seen my review yet, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised by it. It is by far the best superhero movie I have seen this year. Now, granted, this year has been really awful for superhero movies because what do we have? We have Morbius, which there was some mm -hmm. fun in, but not a great movie. There was Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and there's Thor Love and Blunder. And not the single Actually, that's, one of they should rename it very little Doctor Strange. Yeah. <laughs> None of those were any were any good. And I'll I'll take Black Adam over any of them because I actually had fun with that movie. Uh, I cannot assess yeah. how, how close it is to the source material or anything. Like I'm not sure. I know nothing about the source with those comics. But uh, I don't but know. I was just thinking that Doctor own. Strange was just a rip off of Peabody and Sherman, but yeah, how was how was the Black Adam? It was it was cool. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was uh, like it has been criticized for it's a movie out of time. It feels like a movie from twenty years ago. I've seen some critics say, well, basically, probably because it was you know, written twenty words, years ago. <laughs> it, it, yeah, but it means it feels like a Phase One movie. It's an origin story that's uh, reasonably unconnected from anything else to me this is a good thing this is a return to the kind of superhero movie that we sorely need right now when you look at all of the other drivel that is coming out i would say that right now is one of the weakest times for superhero movies given that you're in a time with superhero movies and here is something that is a throwback to uh to a period when when they well they weren't starting out but when they had matured and they were like gaining mainstream appeal in the first place it kind of feels like something from that era mm. and uh and uh i submit that's exactly what is needed right now uh, Just i don't think there's anything wrong with like movie. you know seeing the six million dollar man style experience but with a higher budget like i don't see the problem with having a movie that isn't introspective, even for a superhero movie. Yeah, and there's very little of that going oh, on. Oh, good. That uh, that had heart. It has action. It has uh, it has um, what in Norwegian is called gravel, like a uh, happy violence, like it's violent as hell, but it's yes. <laughs> but it's not a serious kind of violence. So like there's limbs flying everywhere and stuff. <laughs> But you can't like make a joke out of it. <laughs> yes. Had, um, the, the the last uh, James Gunn movie had that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like the exactly like that, like the, the last James Gunn movie. So it was like, in some sense, it was like more brutal and violent. It just mm. didn't have the explicit blood on screen, but it did have limbs on screen and plenty of them. Sounds good. I mean, maybe maybe this will work. I know uh, I know uh, Lefty Hollywood um, wants Zaslav to hate to to uh, fail, even if Thank it wasn't you. his movie, even if it wasn't it wasn't started while he was there. Uh, they don't want a single success out of DC now. They want everything to fail. Thank you. That's the exact point that I that I made in my review as well. I think it's really important to keep these reviews from professional critics in context. I don't think that they're objective. I think the movie is being unfairly maligned because you have a whole lot of critics that will really dig into the movie's flaws. And let's be clear about it. The movie has flaws. This is not the perfect movie. This is the same level as Venom in that it's mm. a fun action movie that doesn't like really meet like any criteria for great screen writing in any sense, but the end product is entertaining. That's so would you call mean. it a popcorn movie? Yes. yes. It's so a popcorn movie. I don't hear that term from critics anymore. Everything has to be, uh, you know, something 
big and grave and important. And I have not heard the term popcorn movie in a long time. A, a, a while, like years ago, a, a critic would say, ah, this is a great popcorn movie. And then that would be the end of it. Yeah. They're this not saying is, that anymore. This, this is a popcorn movie. That's a perfect description. I wish you had reminded me of that term before I did my review. <laughs> but yeah, this is the... This is one we only said it like 20 times last year. Well, this this could have also been like a big summer blockbuster because it it had that tone to it Mm. where you know there's that freedom or that feel in the summer where you want to see something like this. You want to see skulls crunched, bones, you know, cracked, you know, blood flowing everywhere. And and the rock did such a great job of just being the superhero, and he just doesn't care about anything else. And that's what you want to see. He doesn't go out of character necessarily. So we don't have to worry about any concerns or any other shit like that. It was just straight up the character, and he looked incredible. He obviously doesn't need a suit to put on or any kind of puffing, you know, like any kind of suit to put on his body. He's in the maybe the best shape of his life, and he looked so badass in this film. I loved how violent it was, and I loved it had this certain sense of um, masculinity to it for me because – you know, who's, you can't be any more masculine than this man who's just muscles all over, has this, you know, attitude, aggression, isn't going to let anybody tell him, you know, something that he isn't going to do. I think that this was maybe something that is missing from a lot of films that we want to see. We've been talking about how She-Hulk didn't have any fights in it. Well, forget that, forget that series. Just watch Black Adam over and over mm. again. I guarantee you, you're going to get enough of that fight. Um, you know, that you want to see that all the all the all that stuff, that aggressiveness that we like to see. We like to see muscular superheroes doing muscular superhero fights. So if you are craving that, Black Adam is definitely the film for you. I, yeah, you, so you saw it and you liked it. All right. Oh, I, yeah. I did. Yes, I did see it. I saw it last night and mm. I, I liked it very much. And I, I think that it did so many things right. And while it's true that I don't know anything about I hadn't heard about Black Adam before any of this, but I know who The Rock is. And I thought to myself, what would this man be like in a superhero film? To be honest with you, I thought that they did so many things right. And it didn't have to get too complicated or or caring about too much stuff. It was, it was an in-the-moment, fun action film that I think, uh, you know, I want to see more of Black Adam because of this mm. Of this okay. film, and I want to still see him crush heads and break bones and do all that aggressive stuff because he himself admits that you know fighting is important. This is a character that fighting is is critical to to his identity, from what I can see. And I like the idea that you're a superhero, therefore you must fight. There must be some kind of conflict where you're fighting, you're 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 have some aggression towards someone else. And we got that, and it was it was like a release. It felt like a release to, to see this on screen, right, Andre? Like you, you just were like, oh yeah, this is great. Oh yeah, oh wow. You know, there was so much fun to it, and also a lot of the scenes looked very good from a fight perspective um it looked it looked pretty flawless to me the fighting scenes i'm saying um i thought they were fun to watch you did mention there was a comedic element too because he would just throw people like you know he didn't even care and and they they alluded to that in the trailer but to be honest with you i felt the trailer was very weak i think the film was marketed very poorly even at comic-con i felt it was marketed Mm. poorly I think that, you know, almost to a point where they knew that this film was outstanding and there was backlash because of maybe all of the fighting scenes. We've seen in a lot of shows where men are showing aggression, where they have excessive fighting scenes, there's pushback, just like in The Terminalist, just like in, um, you know, Reacher, where they don't want to see very muscular men doing physical, you know, uh, violence against others. They don't want to see any of that. They don't care whether it's in the in the pursuit of justice or whether the person's a police officer. They do not care. They just don't want to see it. So I think that just that alone, they didn't necessarily want to support the film because it is so strong in that. But The Rock is known for this. I mean, he's a wrestler, for heaven's sake. We're expecting physical movement. We're expecting to see this conditioned man go ahead, get in there, move people around, throw things around, crunch things. That's what we're expecting from, from The Rock even outside. And I think he accomplished this in this film, maybe to a point that I've never seen it. When was the last time we saw something like this, Andre? You tell me when. When have we seen this? Did, did he did he pull so a long? foreign object out of his tights? Um, <laughs> no, but he rammed uh, some foreign objects uh, into other people's bodies. <laughs> but, so, so, so no, no actually, chairs, no folding. We chairs. we haven't uh, we haven't seen any over the top action scenes like this. I want to say James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, but that's not entirely accurate because those were like 
realistic and brutal, whereas this is like super entertaining, but very cartoony. So uh, I think actually I think we have to go uh, of movies that I have seen. We have to go back to Will Smith's Hancock. Mm. But then you add some Punisher to that. Hancock was good. Yeah.